Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I hope everybody out there is staying safe, staying educated, and keeping your eyes peeled as things all develop in the world around us here in America. Keep fighting for the right thing. Anyhow, let's get right on in to our game. The game that we're talking about today is going to be a game that well, if you're around the gaming space on YouTube over the past few months, you've probably seen a few people playing. Because the game is Raft. Obviously you knew that. You saw the title. You saw the thumbnail. You clicked on it. So you know what it is. So let's get right into it then. So let's start out with what is Raft? Well, it's a survival game. It's not survival horror, just survival. So... What is the goal point of this survival game? Well, there is a storyline, actually, believe it or not. And uh, it's still in, uh, still in early access. I want to preface that before I really dig in too, too much. It is still an early access game, and therefore, things could change. My opinion could change, and there's a lot of room for growth. And a lot of ways that the game could change. However, as it currently stands, it's twenty dollars on Steam, and very positive with nine with eighty-eight percent positive reviews overall. So this is an interesting kind of a survival game because I don't know the story, and I'm not going to dig into the story. Yet. I know you got to work for it. I haven't gotten there yet. It's obviously going to be easier and better with friends. Um, I don't have friends. <laughs> I don't have friends that play games with me. So as it stands. I go this alone. So be, playing it alone is a very tedious, endless battle. You're constantly battling against the shark. The fucking shark. That bastard. You're constantly battling against the goddamn seagull. I don't care what you say. That seagull is an enemy. Period. Just no matter what. Seagull equals bad guy. But more or less, you're just on a raft floating around. And get picking shit up out of the ocean. So that you can build stuff. Build up more raft. Build up more anything, you know. Uh, you're going to want grills to cook. You're going to want water purification. You're going to want weapons to stab that damn shark in the face. Anytime he tries to bite you or bite your boat. And you can truly turn your raft into a proper boat, too. That is really impressive, honestly. So, yeah. The concept of the game is very interesting. And, uh... I want to reiterate that I'm not going to dig into the story because I don't know the story. So, it's totally recommended though. Totally recommended game. It's, uh, especially if you have friends to play it with, it's, it's, it is fun, it's suspenseful. Uh, there's a good, there actually is some good jump scare moments, like when you're down in the water, you know the shark's out there, but you don't expect him to get you when he gets you. Sometimes he'll jump scare your ass. You know, and sometimes some spooky shit happens. There's apparently other enemies and stuff. There's islands you can pull up to, anchor up, and explore. Um, so that's what that is. Uh, how's the gameplay feel overall? It feels pretty good. The crafting system seems to make a decent amount of sense. The progression through the crafting is solid. Uh, once you build a research table, you're able to uh, deposit resources into it, permanently of course, um, in order to do research and unlock more recipes to build more things. As f at the farthest point of the story that I know is that you're trying to get a radio receiver and three antennas set up with a decent amount of space between, between them all on your raft. That will send you. That will get you coordinates to go to a certain spot and get you really cooking and moving with the story. So that's pretty cool. Is the game challenging? It can be. It can be very challenging. It can definitely be very challenging. I mean, especially for me. Um, gonna be honest, I'm terrified of the ocean. So yeah, this is uh, definitely a game that definitely spooks me, but probably won't spook most people. If you're not terrified of the ocean, then, then you probably won't be too, too bothered by the things in this game, honestly. But, uh, but I played Subnautica. I did not make a lot of progress because progressing in Subnautica involves going deeper and deeper under that water 
and I, I, I just don't, I just don't wanna. <laughs> I just don't wanna. And likewise, in this game, around the surface of the islands, on the beaches, you'll find a lot of useful resources right there in the shallows. And I just don't wanna. Even in the shallows, because that shark is there. I know he is. You can kill the shark, but it's not permanent. Another shark will be back. It will buy you some time, though, and get you some food. And, uh, you can wear its head, which is metal as fuck. So, that's cool. Um... But, yeah. So the game obviously has multiplayer. People play it with their friends. If you've watched Markiplier play it, you would know that you would know that he is has, has played it with his friends. And you would also see a lot more interesting gameplay watching Markiplier or any other Let's Player who's played this game, really. Uh, you'll probably see more interesting gameplay footage from, uh, from them than from me because I couldn't really seem to find anything super interesting to, ha to explore or do while I was recording for this. Uh, I loaded in a brand new save so that you can kind of get the idea of what the early game is like. That first, you know, hour or so isn't too different from itself. And then I went ahead and loaded in my already established save so that I could kind of show off my boat a little bit, kind of give maybe give someone ideas on how to build a raft that you know, is effective, good, you know, I guess, I guess my raft is good, I don't know, I, I don't really think so, but maybe, it, maybe it is, but, like, it also shows that, you know, there's, a, there, you, you can, your humble beginnings of four little wooden squares of raft, you could really expand out of that, honestly, the game does also have, like, a creative mode and stuff for the people who prefer that, who would rather just, uh, build a build like a cruise ship out of their raft um i i know in the steam community pages i've seen some very wild screenshots being shown of very wild things that people have built obviously in creative mode um it's very difficult to build some of these extravagant creative mode things in any of these kind of survival games uh in the survival mode it's just difficult because there's generally some kind of baddie tearing shit down you know be it zombies or the shark, the fucking shark, or just, you know, other bad guys depending on the game. I know there's a few other survival games uh, that I will be digging into a little bit on, on the channel. Um, I have two in mind offhand. I'm not going to do Rust. I don't like Rust, so I'm not going to do that. I'm also not going to do Ark, because I don't like Ark. And I feel like it wouldn't be fair to those games for somebody who doesn't like them to be talking about them because I don't have a ton of good things to say. I don't really have a lot of bad things to say. It's just, it's not fun to me. The idea of logging in to find that other players have looted all your shit while you're offline, it just isn't fun. But anyway, I digress. This game right here is a very solid game. I very much found a lot to love, a lot to enjoy here. And I really, uh, I really hope that there's other people who, who feel the same amongst people who may be coming and going from my channel. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about the game. I went off on a little tangent there. Uh, you know what? Since, we're, since this is the video of segues, we're going to go ahead and segue real fast into Initial D. Initial D being one of the greatest animes of all time about cars and more directly about drifting 10 out of 10 recommend initial d i will never not segue over anyway thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for listening to my shameless plug for initial d thank you guys for any and all support that you guys give me on this channel and remember to stay safe stay aware stay educated and always always take care of yourself and each other love each other and all of the other things and good messages that i could put possibly stuff here to extend the length of the video but at the end of the day love each other we're all in this together and we should help each other out with it and with that said feel free to like comment subscribe and of course grief that bell button if you'd like to feel free to dislike if you think i've earned it and I, anyway i will fucking see you later